Today we will be using this painting from Jacob Lawrence's Migration Series. It depicts three girls writing numbers at a chalkboard. Jacob Lawrence believed all children should be able to receive the same quality of education. We will draw a student writing an encouraging word or message on the chalkboard. Step one, write your name and class code on the back of the paper. Step two, draw a small rectangle in the middle of your paper. You should be able to fit three fingers inside of the rectangle. Step three, draw the bottom half of your person. If your person is wearing pants, draw two vertical lines from the rectangle, a short line at the bottom to connect them, and a curve for the shoe. Do it again for the other pant leg. If you would like for your person to be wearing a skirt or a dress, draw a trapezoid under your rectangle. Then draw your legs with two vertical lines and a curve underneath to represent the shoe. Do the same thing for the other leg. You may also add a line to represent socks. Step four, draw your person's arms with two straight lines going up and a square at the end for the hand. Draw the other arm going downward. Then show where the shirt sleeve ends with two short lines. Lastly, erase the corners out of your rectangle. You can also draw your arms bent. Remember that an arm only bends at the elbow, which means the bend should only be near the middle of your person's arm. Again, draw short lines to show where the sleeves are and erase the corners of your rectangle. And if your person's wearing a dress, erase the bottom of your rectangle. Step five, draw your person's head with a tall curve over the rectangle. Divide that curve with a wavy line to represent the person's hairline. Then decide what type of hairstyle you would like your person to have. Everything from a ponytail, to a braid, to a bun. If it has short hair, think about how you can change the line of the head to show texture in the hair. Step six, draw the chalkboard. Three fingers from the edge of the paper, draw a vertical line about a hand's width from the bottom. Then turn and make your line go to the side. Stop and start around your person. Next, you will create another line inside of it to make the frame of the chalkboard. Choose an encouraging word you would like to write on your chalkboard. Write it on a post-it note first so you can copy onto your artwork spelled correctly. Next, write your word on your artwork with a white oil pastel so that it will look like chalk on a chalkboard. The last letter of your word should be near your person's hand so it will look like they have written the word. Lastly, trace back over your letters to make them solid white. Next, you will need to color your person in completely. Make sure that it is solid, smooth, and stay inside the lines. Good craftsmanship is important in this lesson. When you see chunks of oil pastels, pick them off. Be careful not to wipe them or they'll make a mess. The 
The last thing you will need to do with oil pastel is color in the chalkboard's frame. Go over the pencil lines first to help you with your craftsmanship. Then color in the chalkboard smooth and solid and of course stay in the lines. Next, paint the wall of the room. This will be done with watercolor. Be sure your brush is always wet. Repeatedly dip it back into the water. Put an even layer of paint all over the entire wall area of the picture. Don't forget small spaces like between the legs. Once you've gone over and painted the entire area once, you may want to paint it again to even out the color and make the color brighter. The last step is painting the chalkboard completely solid black. 